All right, YouTube, guys, what is going on? How are you doing, you beautiful people? Guys, girls, older people, younger people, everyone in between. You guys know the intro. What is up? Welcome back to another creator chat. We have the tea. You guys like this cute little mug? We got that green tea. We have the camera. We have this golden eye, which is, it's all right. It's a little harsh, but um, I like it. I like it. Anyways, I've missed you guys. I have not done a video in a little bit of time, and um, it is actually very warm out. It's a little bit later. It's September 22nd, and it's like 25 degrees out, so I'm not even, even going to lie. I just wore this because I always wear white in these, so I had to change it up a little bit right as the breeze comes. Anyways, let's get straight to this, guys. What is up? How are you doing? I love you all. I just wanted to put that out there. I haven't done this in a while. Um, I'm thinking of creating a lot more of these. We're doing daily vids, so I might be sitting here every single day for the next little while. Anyways, in today's video, guys, I wanted to really speak of the idea or notion of taking your time as a content creator or not rushing you know more so not being in a rush you know i don't know the exact premise or point that i'm going to be touching on exactly in this video but it's of that notion it's of taking your time it's of the mentality the physicality the spirituality of not being in a rush okay and now for any of you guys new here um to these creator chats or to my channel or really anything of this I've been doing this whole content creation thing for quite a while, okay? And I'm saying this to you guys. <laughs> and if I knew... If I knew in the beginning when I first started this whole YouTube business, social media stuff about four years ago, and I started stuff before that, but let's say four years ago when I turned 18, if... <laughs> if I knew how long it would take just to get like here <laughs> or like if i knew how long it would take in the beginning i either wouldn't have done it or i would have known which is what i'm telling you guys now just beginning if i had myself this is why i make these videos if i had myself or someone like me to tell me this I wouldn't have beat myself up so bad. <sighs> See, man, it's it's like it's it's pretty emotional. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. <sighs> I just, again, I don't I don't script these videos. I don't even know what I'm gonna fucking talk about in these. I just that's what's coming uh, over me. Just don't rush. You know, I just know how long this journey can take for myself and for you guys trying to do something long term and sustainable and become successful at it. I know how much harder it can be. And um, I know how bad we want things and how quick we want them. And I just want you guys. I just don't want you guys to beat yourself up too hard because it takes a while or because you feel you're moving too slow. You know, as an example for you guys, let's relate this to fitness, okay? Now, I've been into fitness for about seven years now, okay? So when I turned, yeah, so f 15. Yeah, so about seven years. I'm almost 22. When I first started working out when I was in grade nine, I thought I was under the misconception that within three months, I was going to be jacked. And frankly, I think that's what most people's idea is of uh of fitness that's what people would tell me you know that's kind of what you'd hear online about two three months i'd be jacked and i'm not huge by any means <laughs> and very very uh quickly i realized that was not the case for me to build and i'm going to backtrack but for me to build an impressive physique i'm talking a good amount of muscle me being lean good strength numbers people would notice it took me about three years so what is that 10 times that three weeks three years you, you get what i'm saying Three months, three years instead of three months, not ten times. So you get what I'm saying. And I, I just, I just fucking wish, man, I had someone in the beginning, that little grade nine starting to work out to say, hey, man, you've got this. You're going to fucking crush this. You're going to kill this. But just know it takes a while, okay? Just know it's okay if it takes a couple years because you do this. As a lifestyle, you do this because you love this. We're not doing this because of the end result. And if, and if I could just kind of embed that to my younger self, just being like, we're doing this because we love this. It's the process. It's the journey. 
It's the enjoyment of working out. And then the result comes when it comes. If I could just really fucking instill it into my mind, the process in and of itself would be a lot more relaxed, right? Now, it was, it was still a process and it was still fun. Like, like, don't get me wrong. Even with this, like, you need challenges. I just, I just know it could have been a bit smoother, right? But I didn't know how long it would take. I thought the same thing with this YouTube. Now the sun goes like that, eh? Um, the same thing with this whole YouTube thing. Let's just check with you. There we go. Let's just, sorry, guys. Give me one sec. The sun left, so let's just crank those settings. So there we go. We have less grain. You see, this is why you got to get into visuals. There we go. So, with this, with YouTube, with, with creating content, I remember the exact same thing. I first started YouTube June 23rd, 2016. So, about three and a half years ago. And I thought to myself of that summer. I just got out of high school. I literally got out of high school that day. And I, it was that day I started YouTube. I was convinced, and, and again, I'm not saying don't dream big. Like, dream fucking big. But I was convinced that I was going to blow up, have like... 30,000 subscribers and be all good and known within about three months like by the end of summer That was my plan. I was like by the end of summer I'm not going to uni or whatever. I'm just gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna be good and I'm here over three years later Right nowhere close to 30,000 subscribers. I'm out about a thousand which I am so grateful for I love each and every single one of you I don't give two shits how many views this fucking video gets because it's going back to the enjoyment of the process in and of itself so You get what I'm saying, but I didn't know that starting off and this is why I get sad or a bit emotional because like you think back to when you first started, that younger version of you, right? And it's like, it's it's almost like the feeling of like you being a parent. And again, I'm not a parent, but like you sending your your kid off to school, like elementary school, and you can tell they don't want to go. Like you can tell they're like anxious, or maybe it's like junior kindergarten, because they don't know what to expect. And like you do know what to expect, but like you can't really tell them because they have to expect. I don't know. That's kind of how I feel sometimes with like myself. It's like you feel bad, like you know they're sad, but like they have to do it. So you get sad. Like I remember my parents would drop me off sometimes. And like I'd, I was like, what, four years old? And like I'd be crying, as I think if you guys can remember too, or like swimming lessons or, or, or whatever. And you'd just be creaking out sometimes. And like sometimes they'd be sad, but like they, they know you have to do this. And it's because you don't understand. That's, that's why you're sad and they're sad. And you're too young to understand. Like they can't explain it to you. Mentally, you can't really grasp it yet. So that's why they get so upset because the parents literally and figuratively cannot teach you. So they just have to watch you kind of just get hurt. And that's why I get emotional sometimes with like this stuff. When I look back at myself or maybe with some of you guys, like, so I make these videos or that's the intent to help some of you guys who are maybe in my shoes. So that's really it. We're still recording eight minutes. That's kind of the notion of this video. Just you guys as content creators on your journey. And this wasn't to dis this was not to discourage any of you or to tell you like, oh, it's gonna take ten years longer, you're fucked, good luck. No, that's not no 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 no. This was not to discourage you. This was to let you know very clearly and upfront that it is okay and in fact encouraged that it takes much longer than you first anticipate. Right? It's appreciated, it's loved, it's it's welcomed. You want that. Love the journey. Don't, don't rush it. It's the most beautiful fucking thing and, and you'll never get it again. You know, I actually get kind of sad about, because I, I know spiritually in my soul that this struggle here, again, it's, you know, fig, figure of speech because what is struggle, what's not. But this right here, this, me and my house, this whole, which I don't even explain to you guys, this chapter is coming to a close. It's coming to an end. And I know that I can feel it spiritually. Maybe that sounds funny. So this is why I kind of get emotional because very lately I've been doing a lot of processing of what I had to do and overcome in this journey. And if I keep talking about this, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I'm going I'm to start tearing up because, and I don't, I don't, you know, David, why are you tearing up? I don't explain struggles to you guys. I save that for later because you don't need that. You can't cry on the fucking battlefield, brother. You have no time for that, Right. So I care a lot about you guys, and um, I just think back to my younger self. You know, I just wish I knew then what I know now, but obviously that's not how life works, and, and I wouldn't want it any other way. But if I did know, 
back three and a half, four years ago. I mean, fuck, guys. I've been doing this whole self-development entrepreneurship stuff for about seven years since I turned 15. Is that life telling me to shut up? If I could just... I'm going to finish it here. We're going to wrap it here, okay? Ten minutes. Because now we have planes and stuff and the sun's going. Man, that sun went quick. If I could go back in time to when I first started this whole YouTube, social media, content creation, anything, any massive journey, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, anything, anything with a ton of challenges... And I'm saying this to my younger self, but to you guys. Try your best to do it for the process itself and not the end destination. Right? Like, 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 let it, let it take a while. Let it unfold the way it, it has to. And see it as a game, if that helps you. I've spoke about this before. See the challenges as as little obstacles and like a level game like pac-man or something like that you know and you keep getting stuck at the same boss or the same thing well you keep trying and you get past that and then the game continues right it's like a game with a hundred levels but you're just on level five or six and you think it'll never end well it's gonna take a while but that's okay and you love every single fucking level I'm literally thinking of Pac-Man. I was like a big gamer growing up. When I was like four or five, like four years old, five years old, I got my first PlayStation. Pac-Man was the very first game I ever got. Pac-Man World 2 or Pac-Man 2. If any of you guys have played that. So enjoy it. Enjoy when you're in the forest area and then you're in the lava area and then you're in the ice area and the different seasons and changes and then this, these friends or acquaintances come and then this boss comes, like all of it. That is the fucking journey. You will never forget this. And like try so hard to enjoy it. And I know it's easier said than done because it feels like quicksand sometimes. And it feels like you're never going to get out because you can't see what you... You, you don't have the foresight. You, you don't know what's ahead. You can only... What, what does Steve Jobs say? You can only connect the dots looking backwards, right? You can't connect the dots looking, the dots looking forward. You have no clue like what the fuck's out there, right? Just... Try to trust that the dot you're on right now has a purpose. It's leading you towards something. And it's all going to make sense. And with that, you'll be able to enjoy it and not rush. So that's it. I'm going to finish it there at about 12 minutes. I hope that made sense. I hope that was able to help some of you guys. I am doing, at least as of right now, daily videos. Uh, I think this is day seven or video seven. So I am working heavily on the photo video courses right now as we are speaking. So in the meantime, I want to do more of the creator stuff. So make these creator videos because they don't take too long to make. I enjoy them the most, but they just come from the soul. Like I don't have to script this and plan it and this. Like screw that. So I think I'm just going to be pumping these out for the next little while until those are done. I want those to be done in about a week's time. And then I'll, you guys know how I work with content. I kind of flip flop and do make this and this and this. But yeah, more of these as always. So thank you guys. I hope this was able to help. I hope it was resourceful, and I will see you guys tomorrow then. So much love. Share it. Like it. Talk to a friend, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace. But now let's get on to the plug, the, the last little plug, because your boy's got to eat out here, man. Your boy's going to fuck shit up, and we're going to make it together. Um, on a serious note, though, guys, do go download yourself the free creator course intro. First link in my bio, guys. It's a half an hour video course in an online university format. Hella professional. I'm in the forest and we speak of what I call the four areas of growth. So talks like these cover one out of the four areas of growth. So this talk right here, what was this? Taking your time? I mean, this is really on all of them. The four areas of growth are personal craft, relationship, and world growth, okay? It's the step-by-step -step system I've created myself to help content creators flourish from stage one to stage four, okay? It's everything I've screwed up on. I put the best I could into a formula. So that creator course intro explains that formula. It gives examples of that formula, how to apply that formula. And it's everything we speak of here. And then if you enjoy that, guys, there are two courses after the internal creator course and external creator course, okay? The internal is on the first two areas. External is on the last two. They're twice as long, packed with info. They are paid, um, which some of you guys have purchased them and have loved them. I know they will change your life. So if you found these videos resourceful and uh, want to change your life, and yeah, support me, but like, I know... I know I'm going to be okay, all right? And I know you guys are going to be okay. I just check them out if you like them. Link down below. And I'm going to finish it there. So thank you guys so much for watching, for listening. I'll talk to you guys soon. Um, just looking at Kiro. Kiro! Hi.
Uh, love you all. Much love. Peace.